this is Fat B, man. I'm out here in the garage, and what we're going to do this today is I'm going to show you why I cut out a lot of this comb. I've just got one frame right here. I just took out the, the wax. A lot of people like to save their wax, but I'm going to try to show you. If you can see, it's hard to try to videotape this, but if you look close at it, you can see along the edge there, right along here, you can see there's a lot of little black specks here. That's wax moth eggs. And that's what I'm doing right now is cleaning this stuff up, getting ready for spring. And there's people out there that'll put this stuff in the freezer. There's a lot of people who give you a lot of different advice. If uh, if a lot of that stuff worked, I don't think people would be losing a lot of their beehives like that, what they're doing. And uh, we run a lot of hives here and we don't lose that many hives. But there's things you want to look at, there's things you want to check. One thing you want to do is check your frame. Now here, I'm going to show you, is a frame of wax. And I'll try to get it to where you can see. Now there's a lot of people that will use this. I'm not using it. This is basically a starter strip that was put in here. And what I do is I cut it out, start with a new starter strip in the spring. I take this over and I'll put it in my wax collection. This is what I'm doing, putting it in the wax collection. And I just noticed on this piece I just cut out, I'm try, kind of difficult trying to do this stuff, but when you want to judge wax, look at the cells. You want to make sure they're evenly drawn out, not elongated. What I do is I turn the frame sideways. It's hard to try to videotape and do this stuff in here, but look down the rows. Can you see? They should be nice and straight. I'm going to get this one out of the way, but to show you, this is, a lot of people say, oh, this is good. Save a lot of time. That is rubbish, basically. Uh, people tell you a lot of things and don't make no sense that the bees don't make uh, wax that quick. It saves them a lot of work. They have to clean the wax back out and takes them a lot longer. They don't go to a tree and carry their wax with it. They build all new. It's one of the reasons people get a lot of mites. Now I'm gonna show you another frame. Now this you can see was a honey band right at the top. Had a good laying pattern. And basically, get try not to bump this camera. I want to turn this. When I judge wax, I always look down the rows. And you can see, you want your rows to be really straight and all spaced out right. You don't want a lot of different size cells. You don't want a bunch of drone comb. If you're going to raise queens, you need some drones. A healthy hive should have 5 to 10 percent. You've got a little bit of drone right here by my finger. I'm going to try to get over here where you can see it. And you can see down at the bottom, see at the bottom of that frame there, you can see it's drawed, it's drawn right down to within an inch of the bottom and the bottom cells are actually the same size as the middle and towards the top. Coming down about two inches from the top they're slightly elongated. Let's see if I can get a better picture and see the elongation. That is a honey band. That's a normal thing. Unless you put wired foundation or fishing line in there and they draw perfectly worker cells, you're going to have some stretching. We started out with all two inch starter strips. And the reason I'm trying to do this 
video here to show you if you just change out wax, nothing more, just change wax out, no more than two to three years, it breaks the cycle of the mites, you have less problem with your beetles and a lot of other things. Now, I know there's going to be people sending me a lot of things. I'm going to get, get up here close to show you this same frame. There's going to be the old time beekeepers out there scratch their head and say that man is just absolutely crazy. I would use that frame put it back. This is why people lose bees. Uh, you could do uh, one or two hives, throw them in the freezer. I don't believe that's going to kill your uh, wax moth eggs. Here's where your wax moth eggs will end up getting in. Your little holes on the side here. I'm going to cut it now to show you. I mean business when I'm talking. What I do works. I'm going to cut this out. Now, taking this here, you could, if you wanted to, what we do in the springtime when we're salvaging out stuff, we'll take our, our mini frame, just like this. Now, always watch where your comb is oriented. Honey band at the top, that's the top of the frame. Lay your, your little mini frame over and take a knife like so and just cut a rounding here. In fact, let me just do one and show you how nice it fits right in there. This is how you would set up your mini nukes in the summertime or your springtime. You want to make a few or if you want to make a lot. I put out a lot of videos. I guess too many people get confused. They try to make simple beekeeping very difficult. It's not. A little work, but basically it's all common sense stuff. Now, you see I put that good piece of wax right in there. See? And look at here. I'm going to shake it. You see that? Nothing else. You put this in the hive, the bees will come and attach it here and reinforce it. You'll basically have to cut this out of the hive. Now, your scrap stuff, you put it in your wax container. But here's the whole thing about doing this video. I want to get in here and I want to cut this, uh, the rest of this wax out of here. I want to get this cleat bar out of here and show you that there's going to be wax moth eggs up underneath there and if you don't clean them out and start with fresh wax you're looking for trouble you're going to go out and buy a nuke you're going to go out and buy a package you're going to put stuff in your hive that's already pretty well uh, contaminated with the problems the bees have to fight now here's the original starter strip we put in we make our own foundation here so that's one way we try to save money. But you can look up in here and you can see the black specks in here. That is wax moth eggs. And what they're going to do, springtime they're going to hatch out. And when they hatch out, the bees have to clean it all out. You can put a frame in there that has wax moth damage, but it just causes the bees to do too much more extra work. Now, <clears throat> we've got a series of DVDs up on uh, my webpage. They're good stocking stuffers. Buy one. Uh, we have a Saturday night chat. You can get on my webpage, click the link, get on there. You can do live chats with me, other beekeepers. I have many of my students there. If you want to do a private chat, I do Skype. I do bee clubs. I'm trying to spread as much information as I possibly can and uh, I ask for donations occasionally because we're coming right now. A lot of people think this is winter. You can see I'm out here in my coat. It's cold. People think you have a lot of time right now. Right now, I'm already getting ready for spring. So I'm working 10, 12 hours a day, building stuff, putting wax in, getting ready for the next year. So when I'm doing these videos, doing chats, it's taken from my time. I don't mind doing them. I'm trying to build out as many new beekeepers as I possibly can, but the, the donations actually help, and we can do more of them. 
Now, if you go to the webpage, DixieBeesupply.com, make a donation or leave a comment, it'd be appreciated. And thanks for watching the Fat Bee Man.